Living with a cheating husband can be a deeply painful and complex situation that requires careful consideration of your emotional and practical needs. Whether you're trying to decide if um, you should leave or you should stay, or maybe you're finding um, a way to cope or even heal, it's important to um, handle um, such situation with um, fear. You need to handle it with care, um, you need to handle it with um, you need to handle it with absolute care. <laughs> there is no other word than handling it with care. There is no other word than being careful. There is no other word than you know caring for yourself, caring for your need, your mental health, because it is hurting. It is painful. A lot of women are going through this in the world right now. Everybody believes there is a man's world, and men can do anything they like. But yes, but how do this make the woman feel? We're going to be talking about this and more on this um, episode of Moment with Oye today. Welcome to this show today. My name is Oye Inka Ogunjabi and we're going to be talking about how to handle a husband's infidelity today on the show. Um, today with me, I have my friends on um, YouTube. <laughs> why did I? Why am I forgetting the name of YouTube so badly? And um, we're streaming live on um Instagram. I just forgot to start streaming live on Instagram. So we're streaming live on Instagram. We're streaming live on my Facebook page. I have a personal Facebook page that carries my name, and that is where we're streaming live from. We're also streaming live on YouTube. And I really want to say thank you to all of my friends that usually um join from YouTube today. Let me let me give us a warning ahead of time, just in case you see one small boy running around this camera. I'm just gonna turn off the camera. My son is at home. Home. we're on spring break and we're at home and oh today <laughs> i'm just praying that he doesn't run into the camera i have done everything i could i can to make sure he doesn't run into this camera but i'm going to try my best to keep him out of the camera so let's quickly make today very fast so we can enjoy ourselves today on the show today it's it, it's it's women's day because this topic has to do with women a lot of women in their homes are going through this particular topic they are going through this situation right now and it is really painful it is really hurting it is not something that we want even our enemies to go through you are just sitting in your house and your husband is you know some people are even going through more worse situation that their man is bringing another woman into the home it can be daunting it can be painful it can be something that will pain you know the woman so badly that she may not be able to to you know to work on herself some women i have a a like a she's like a grandma to me she's like a grandma to me like my mom's friend and today that woman lost um, her mental health she's you're saying this she's saying something else what happened to this woman i i decided to ask my mom one day i said what happened to this woman why is she always like this she's educated she's she has doctors as children she has you know lawyers she has she has beautiful children but why is she always like this is it that this thing is a problem for my family or something that my mom said it was her husband. It was her husband that jilted her. And immediately she lost it. There are many women like that that have lost their mind because of a man. There are many women like that that have lost themselves. They've lost their 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 they are now they are all they are now regular inferiority complex people. Men have, have, have men have made them feel low they are now low they cannot they, they don't even feel beautiful anymore they don't feel like they don't feel like a woman they don't feel like they belong anywhere the man has so battered them marriage has battered them life has battered them the woman is now something else she has become entirely something else and it is a very path situation that's happening right now now we nigerians we always think that this thing is only happening to nigerians or happening to africa no it's a situation that is all over the world 
it's a world situation right now it is not something that please permit my eyes to keep going to and fro i'm keeping the camera in front of me and i'm still monitoring the camera and i'm monitoring all of our three um places where we are broadcasting to now how do we help ourselves in this situation how do we keep our mind clear how do we work things out when we know that yes it's cheating and there's some people would even cheat and hide it from you you will never know some are so clever that you will never know maybe when you are like 75 and the man passed away you will just see one grandma to bring their uh, child i'm a wife i have three children and these are his grandchildren as well some don't even live long some die at a very very young age and oh yes you are hearing that man's voice i am so sorry today my son is at home <laughs> all right so now some would even you know um leave leave so short and you will just see one young lady set more beautiful and you will see her she will just walk in with maybe two children men have done i'm not castigating men we have some beautiful you know and faithful husbands we have some beautiful men that are faithful you know but this table let's shake it we have to really really shake it but at the same time as much as we want to shake this table let's focus on those things that can help us heal those things that can help us work things out with our own selves because at the end of the day it is you that it's you are the only one that matters when your marriage is not like that, it is only you that matters. Nothing else more. Because you are the owner of your own self. You are the owner of your spiritual self. You are the owner of your mental health. Trust me, if you lose your mind because of that man, that man will end up with that side chick. And that side chick will become a man. Why will become the wife, rather. Why you are now the crazy wife. You will be nagging. You will be... You'll be doing all sorts of things that you cannot imagine that you can do. Now, what are the things that we can do to curb these things out? I need my eyes to keep going down because I wrote down a few points that we can use to heal ourselves. The first thing is to acknowledge your feelings. Just acknowledge it. It is happening. And this is how I am feeling about it. Acknowledge your feeling. Allow yourself to feel it. It is very natural. It is a very, very natural thing to experience a range of emotions such as anger, such as sadness, confusion, and betrayal at that point in time you love the man in the first place that is the reason why you are you agreed to marry him oh will you marry me yes i will marry you everybody say say yes say yes say yes uh-uh it is beyond that marriage is beyond all those paparazzi marriage is beyond all those things that you see so when it is now time that the man is hurting you or when it has gotten to that point in time that the man is hurting your feelings by cheating you need to allow yourself to grieve. It is very good to grieve. Grieve about the impact of that infidelity. Grieve about it. Give yourself that point. In. If you need to take time off work to grieve about it, take time off work to grieve about it. Because if you don't, you need to grieve just because you want to let it go. Now, avoid blaming yourself. When you avoid blaming yourself, things will definitely work out for you. You avoid blaming yourself like, ah, it's because I'm not beautiful. It's because I don't know how to cook. It's because I don't know how to do this. It's because I, I am not, you know, good in bed. It's because I am not this. It's because he wants me to do it this way and I'm not able to do it that way. It's because he's complaining that my own body is too stiff. Yes, my body is too stiff. Stop blaming yourself. You see, while it is very, very easy to blame yourself, remember that your spouse or your spouse's decision to cheat is not, re is not a reflection of who you are. It's not a reflection of even your value or your worth. They have decided to cheat. It is in their, some men, it's just in their DNA, naturally, to cheat. Whether you are, you, you are, you are cutting down your, your head to serve that man food, or whether you are waking up in the morning and praising the man and hailing him. Whether you are waking up in the morning and you are cooking him breakfast, you are packing his lunch to work, you are doing this. Whether you are even giving him money. 
no matter what you are doing, if he's calling you every night, oh yeah, let's have this thing, and you are giving it to him every night, he's asking for this star, you are ready to give it to him. If he will cheat, he will cheat. It is just naturally in the DNA of some men to cheat. They can never be faithful. Now, the next thing you need to do after you've avoided that blame game is to seek support, to talk to your friends, some of your friends, knowledgeable friends, not some bunch of morons that will laugh about it, that will laugh at you behind you. No, look for a friend. It might even be somebody older than you, somebody younger than you. Seek support. Talk to a family member. If you see that, if you talk to your mom and your mom, maybe your mom will take it the other way around. Don't talk to her. If you talk to your dad and they will take it the other way around, don't talk to him. Just talk to someone who can provide you one thing. And that thing is emotional support. Avoid people who will judge you or make your decisions, your decisions hurt you. Avoid people like that. Just make sure that you are able to talk to a good person person make sure that you are able to talk to somebody who will understand your perspective make sure that you are able to talk to somebody who will give you who will give you that support that you need make sure that you are able to 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 talk to somebody who will understand you. Make sure that you are able to just speak with a knowledgeable person, not some, not some people that will, that will make things worse for you. There are some people that you will talk to. It's better that you don't even talk to them at all. So seek support from good people. Now, when you, before you start to, you know, do all of these things, before or when you see that all of these things, you are doing it. Then you gather information. By gathering information, you confront your husband first. If you haven't already confronted him about it, consider a calm way and beautiful way to collect information from him about your suspicions or the knowledge of his affair. Say it in a very peaceful manner that will not bring fight. There's no way you will say it to some men. They will still fight you. But you be peaceful. Whether it shows remorse or whether it's defensive or dismissive, whatever the situation turns out to be, you remain calm. Don't fight about it. Many of us have made the mistake of fighting and blowing it out. Blowing it out never resolves anything. It just worsens the situation and you push him out more. There are some men that it's just good to let them go. Pushing him out is not supposed to be your business. Because if you are thinking, oh, hey, I don't want to push him out. I don't want to push him out. At the end of the day, he's pushing himself out. Even if you are trying to bring him in. Now, understand the details. If you choose to now stay in that kind of relationship, whether you choose to stay with a cheating husband or you feel you are not able to go. If you want to leave temporarily or you want to live permanently you may want to understand first why the affair happened what is it that he's not getting from me that may have pushed him out or that may some of us some of us women we ourselves are the one who are the ones who pushed our men out it is we ourselves that pushed our men out probably with our our, our our lifestyle probably with our our the way we talk probably with the way we we way, the way we handle situations in the house probably with the way we treat in probably with the way we 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 say things or maybe the kind of life we are living some women every saturday that they're supposed to be with their families and cooking for their husband and having a nice time with the husband they are with one friend or the other, attending one party, one birthday. You see them, all the money, all their savings, they've used it to buy a shoebi. There are women like that. That the man will keep quiet and keep quiet and keep quiet the, the ma until he just looks for somebody. There's a particular movie. The lady confronted the husband and said, you are cheating. You are doing this. What do I have that she does not? What do I, what does she have that I does not have? And the man's, he quietly, said, he quietly said, she does not yell at me. 
She treats me like a king. She she does this, she does that. There are some women that the way they treat their husbands, they treat their husbands like slave. They don't respect their husband. They don't value their husband's presence. Respect alone can keep a man for 300 million years. If you are able to respect that man. But if you are doing all of that, and you see that he's still in his DNA to cheat, then it is now time to decide if you want to stay, if you are able to stay with a cheating husband or you are not able to cope with him. Now, the next thing you should do is if you have concluded in your mind that, hey, I'm not able to stay with this man who is cheating day and night. The next thing you should seek, if counseling is not working, family support is not working, it may be wise to consult with a lawyer to understand the rights and options that you may have. Regardless of whether you choose to stay or leave sometimes, it is very good to seek some legal advice. That is when you are legally married. Not that you are staying with your boyfriend. He's cheating. You are, seeking, you are seeking legal advice. There's no legal advice for boyfriend that is cheating. He's still a boyfriend. And he has every right to try this lady, try this lady. He is not obligated to being with you alone. As long as he has not said I do to you. Ah, he's my boyfriend. I will see a girlfriend going to beat another girlfriend in the house. Imagine. Why would you go and beat another? If I'm the girlfriend, eh, I will not even touch you. I will look for people that will teach you good sense, Dada, because I will just arrest you. I will arrest you. What you are doing in my house, you will tell me. If I am the girlfriend, that's, that's, that's just it. I will arrest you. I will make sure that you are detained for a long time, a long period, because you are not supposed to come into my house to fight me. You are a girlfriend. I'm a girlfriend. My dear sister, we are both fighting. We are both on the bat battlefield. It is who wins that carries the trophy. And you see, when is is with you, you are in courtship. It's different from you are still not com you are confused about each other. You are not sure about his his life. You are not sure about his movement. You are not sure about his his future with you. That is very different. Even if he's in courtship with you and you find out that he's dating somebody else, which he can as well do. If you are not able to take it, you leave. Because if he continues to be in courtship, a man that will cheat on you when you are dating him, he will cheat on you when you are married. It's a simple arithmetic. He cannot be faithful. So, as much as he is not obligated to stay faithful to you when he is not yet married to you, it is still, it's still wrong for him to have a girlfriend when he has you because you should honestly be enough for him. But at the same time, he is not obligated to be with only you because he is just still trying. The only thing you can avoid at that time is you avoid intercourse. You avoid having intimate relationship because that is what will hurt you. You don't give your body to him because you understand that if you have given your body to him, then you are now committed one way or the other. So please, if you are not ready for, 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 for marriage or something, don't, get, don't commit yourself. Don't commit your body to him because he's not you are not you don't even have the right to fight the other lady because you are both girlfriend i girlfriends right i need to clarify that part he's not obligated to you but when he's married you have that wedding ring on your fingers you are not still a lot of women will just go and fight the side chick why are you fighting the side chick what is your business with this? If the side chick does not come to me, when you come to me, then you are coming to look for trouble. But I will not come to you or call you on the phone. Or in, Many women will make that mistake, call the side chick, go to the maybe restaurant where they are meeting, beat up the side chick. They, oh, no, no, no. All of that is just annoying. It is, it's not worth it. 
It's not worth it. It doesn't make any sense. You have no right to do that. Because she can charge you for assaults. And she will win. Because you have no business with her. You have business with your husband. Seek legal advice. Don't just act rationally. Don't just, don't just do things out of anger. Learn to cool down. Our topic yesterday was the power of silence. Learn to cool down. Learn to relax before you decide. Now, when you have done that, the next thing to do is to evaluate your options. Make sure you weigh your option. Decide if you want to work on that relationship, if you want to teach him how to remain faithful, or you want to get the best part of him by parting your ways. Sometimes it's good. You, you can be better off as friends, not as husbands and wives. You can just be better off as friends, not as a husband, not as a wife. Some relationships are supposed to be just friendship, but we have mixed things up and we have, we have thought that this person is our husband. Mm -mm, no. Sometimes when you part ways with that person, you will just have this natural peace of mind. And there is no marriage that does not have its own trouble. All marriages has their own problem or the other that they are dealing with underground that they are not telling you. But if that problem is more than something you can carry, it is better you weigh your option and decide if you want to stay or you want to part ways just for both of you to have some good peace of mind. This now depends on several factors, including your husband's willingness to repair the relationship. Some men are just not, re they are not ready to repair the relationship with you because they do not value you from the onset. They do not value you from the beginning. You don't expect him to get into marriage and value you. He may have married you probably because you are the only choice he had at that time. Or maybe because family pressures were on him and say, go and marry, go and marry. And he will just marry one. And you are that one that he just marries. Or maybe there's somebody else that he really loves deeply and he's not able to marry that person probably because of family pressure or family this or family that. And now you are the one that is available to him or probably you are the one that the family is supporting at that time and he marries you a lot of marriages are like that he will not have the willingness to repair this relationship and if he does not have the willingness to repair the relationship the quality of your marriage would always be low because you would always be three or four people or five people in that marriage apart from the children you have, to, you have to prioritize your own personal values. Do I want to stay with somebody who is not willing to live right? Do I want to stay with somebody who is not willing to change a bit? Or do I want to stay there, remain unhappy for the rest of my life? Or do I want to manage? Do I want to change him? Do I want to keep working on him? Maybe one day, probably when he's like 75 years old and I'm 65, when it's just like maybe five or 10 years for us to enjoy ourselves, then we, I will start enjoying him. All the side chick would have gone at that time. If you are okay with waiting for that long amount of time, you can absolutely do that. You can also choose to set your boundaries. If you choose to stay, you choose to really, really stay. You know that you can stay. Do not get me wrong. I'm not advising you to leave your marriage because I will not leave mine. Except the situation gets to that point where I have to choose my mental health over my marriage. If you choose to stay with such man, the next, the best thing you can do on the, or the first thing you need to do is to set your boundaries. Make your boundaries clear enough. Communicate your expectations to your husband. I tried not to make this um, live show very, very long. So I might cut it short and maybe we can continue. We can have another show just to call, um complete this maybe by tomorrow or maybe we complete it on on thursday our regular time so the, the the only thing and the first thing you need to do is to set your boundaries make your boundaries known to him this i cannot allow you to do do not let me see you around i personally i said it i don't want to hear i don't want to see 
and I don't want to know. Don't let me know. Stay, let them stay away from me. Because that is my boundaries. Do not cross the line. And many people can do that as well. You can also do that. You can set, if you decide to stay, you set your boundaries. You see, this might include transparency about your future interaction and access to personal communication. You have to make sure that your boundaries are clear enough. You have to make sure that your boundaries are, are written in capital letter. It is very, very important. Now, the next thing is, Man, I, I believe we can quickly round this up today because I, the points I have left is just about three. Now, the next thing is for you to heal and move forward. It is painful. Yes, we know. It is hurting. Yes, we know. It can break you down. Yes, we know. But heal up. Think about it. Worry about it. As a matter of fact, it is good to cry about it. Do not hold your tears inside. Those ones are the ones that we, that we finish you faster. Cry out. Cry it out. Let those tears come out. Then heal. Don't cry for the rest of your life. Just cry for a short period of time and then heal. You see, your personal healing is very, very important. And how can you heal? Just engage in activities that promote your well-being and mental health. And, you know, just look for something. Your hobbies, maybe start doing your exercise, practice yoga, practice meditation, some spiritual practices, go to shows, go for comedy shows, go for this, go for that. Make sure that you are happy. In the mean, Before you know it, you would forget about him. You might even be living together and you are just forgetting about all the pains that he brought to you. I don't just always support that you live together with somebody who is hurting you because then you are now progressing into domestic violence. Now, after you are in that time that you are trying to heal, practice forgiveness. Make sure that you are able to forgive that person. You see, this does not mean that you are excusing that affair or you are excusing, you know, that, that pain around that time or you, are, or you are trying to tell him that it didn't happen. But you see, when you are potentially finding a way to live with what happened without any constant resentment, it is very, very helpful for you. Make sure you forgive. Get it off your mind. Get it off your chest. Get it off your mind. Now, if it then changes, if you see that it is changing, it is very easy for you to now build trust. Build trust with him. Build trust. It, it may take more than 20 years to build that trust. Building trust is by making sure that you are, you are not, you are not, you know, it's not like you are, you are watching him all around or trying to know his movement. That is when you hurt yourself because somebody who is just getting delivered from the, from the bondage of cheating is not easy. It's just like somebody who is, who is, who is deep rooted into masturbation. It's not easy for them to get, or somebody who is rooted into smoking. It's not easy for them to leave it. When they are trying to get themselves away from it, they are going back. They are going back. So learn to build trust without interfering in their life. Don't tell somebody, eh, help me check. Is he in the office? Has he gone out of the office? Okay, the distance between the office to his house is 10 minutes. And from, from the house, if he's not getting home in the next 15 minutes, that means he has stopped by somewhere. What if he stopped by to buy bread? And there is traffic. Give him that benefit of doubt. Just leave him. He has said he will change. Leave him to his change, his changefulness. Now, the ogakpatakpata of everything all is this. When you find a cheating husband, you find yourself in a situation where he's cheating. Don't merge your finances with him. Make sure that you separate your finances. Make sure that you clearly state it. This is your money. This is my money. No joint account at that point in time. All except you have seen that. He has absolutely changed because if you continue to merge money together, 
with him, he will be using your money to sponsor one woman and one some children. You will be working as a matter of fact, you will be the indirect sponsor. You will train those children to school, you will train them, to, you will train them to university level before you know that you have you have done you have done well. Like uh and they boy MCE macaroni will say, You are doing well. You will you when when they are in the in their final year, they are serving, that's when you will know that it has been you who has been. There are many men in the world using their wife to feed their side chick. Some of these side chicks, you collect money from the man. Sometimes the man does not have it to. He will quickly call this the madam. Alpha, can I see 300,000 here with you? I will return it later. There are so many money like that. That has not been returned. That went to side chick. And if you if you are able to trace that money where you will see that the money actually went to a lady. Once you see that your home is his heart, not even your home, his heart is being divided. He's concentrating on someone else. Now, cut away your finances. First thing you should do. Don't buy land together. Don't build houses together. You want to build this house. He wants to build this house. Let him build it. He will live there. You want to build your house. Build it on your own. Put people there. Rent it out. And I am talking about things that are hurting our mothers today. Things that, that, that are still paining them. Some women have built houses, told their husband about it. And at the end of the house, I... I I know a story of a of a woman that built a house, and the 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 husband told the the wife that okay, um, I have a family who needs help, and we can put them there. The wife, the second wife of that man, lived in the house for ten years before the woman, the wife that owns the house, got to know that it was a rival that was living in that house. And she did not know. It was when the man was trying to, to wheel the house to that other woman. Cut away your finances away from that man. Make sure that you are not merging money together. Don't do business with a cheating man. Make sure that your business is separate. He's, if he's running a business, let him run his business. Run your own business. You can decide to live in the house as husband and wife. Don't live as business partners. Don't put anything that can hurt you in the future, that can make you go crazy. Don't put it in his care. Because let me tell you the reason why I'm saying this. Any man that is cheating, they are liars. They will lie to you. They will con you. They will swindle you. It's not like he has one girlfriend and they have parted ways long time ago. If a man is cheating, he will cheat you not only with the other woman, he will cheat you with many things. It's better to stay away from him, stay away from, from his, 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 his finances. Let him stay away from your finances. Let him only be doing his duty. Especially you who likes to work who likes to walk, who is ambitious, make sure you just stay away from where he can know that, okay, you have this, you have this. Do your thing separately. Even if he knows it's fine, just do your thing separately so that you don't end up losing your mind at the end of the day because what has made a lot of people a lot of women lost their mind today because they 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 everything they worked for they put it in care of a of a man who is cheating up on them i know a lady here in the u.s her husband is in nigeria she works here sent cars home so that the man can keep selling and selling she sent 10 cars to, to Nigeria. The man sold all the cars and gave her not a dime. And he left. He moved to the UK with his girlfriend and his, the child that the girlfriend has for him. He got to the UK, ran into some troubles, and they deported him back to Nigeria. They deported all of them back to the Nigeria and banged them for 10 years entering the UK. So 
you can imagine so as this there's this popular saying uh, fear women eh fear men no if a man wants to dupe you he will dupe you clean clear so stay away from where you will know about your finances let him do his thing you do your thing and don't brag to him ah uh, you are cheating you are doing this you are, uh, 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 uh. move in silence if you are going to avoid him in the other room do that it's absolutely nice to do that don't use your body to please him because he will never be pleased that's just it oh if i don't allow him he will still go outside is he not going outside before so just there are some things that are not worth it that people in 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 the past have said ah there's nothing we can do we are women we are no this is my life and that is your life the way you want to live your life is different from the way i want to live my life if you are going through this situation right now it is high time you stand up and speak for yourself speak to yourself do i want to continue in this do i want to remain in this There's nobody on earth that will tell you leave that marriage is cheating. No, it is your decision. If you are not able to continue to take it, you sit down and talk to yourself. You are able to take it and still stay in that marriage. It is just still your decision to sit down and talk to yourself. It is not something that you discuss with your friends and your friends will now make it a general topic. They take it to to news station and start reporting about your marriage when they are keeping their own pain from you there are so many ladies they will tell themselves ah my husband just bought me this it's a lie their husband just finished battering them don't let people interfere in your marriage just make sure just make sure that your marriage is safe your 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 secret remains in that family there are so many families that are going through hell right now There are so many families that are going through hell right now. Let your hell. Let if you cannot walk on that fire, make sure that you cool it off. If you are not able to cool it off, walk away from it. Nobody will tell you that this is what you should do. No. No, nobody will tell you this is what you should do. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. It is you that is going through it. It is you that can help yourself out of it so there is no how to handle an infidelity a, a husband that is in that is committing that act of infidelity you are the only one that can help yourself you are the only one that can talk to yourself it is a situation that only you can handle it is your decision how you handle it is your decision and only even your mother your father cannot help you to handle it in a beautiful way. Shout out to everybody that joined um this um show tonight. Shout out to my friends on YouTube. Shout out to um our followers on Instagram. Um we really appreciate you. We are going to pile up everyone who joined from Instagram, from Facebook, and um everywhere people will join from. We are going to um pile it up and make sure that um we are able to um make sure that everybody receives the 2 gigabyte of data um back in their um phones tonight thank you so much for joining um i really wish to see you all tomorrow but this will be the end of this topic and i hope that you've been able to um get one or two things i also have learned because there are some things that i did not pen down that i am able to i was able to say on this show so i would also go and watch the replay i know it has been long and i really thank you all for staying with me for 38 oh 39 minutes that's a long time thank you so much i really um appreciate you all thank you thank you thank you um we are still looking for a location manager you send um your cv to the milestone place the e from the milestone has a double e at gmail um we're conducting interviews this week so make sure you send your cvs to us and make sure you um um drop your series so we can you can be interviewed this week we're also looking for a script writer so if you are a screenwriter 
um, just make sure you send your CV and everything is based on salary. If you know that you can act, um, you're able to act, we are going to be paying um, for that per scene. And definitely we are going to be shooting 15 movies every month. They're short, short movies and we are paying has seen. Thank you so much for joining this another beautiful and amazing episode of Moment with Oye tonight. I really appreciate you all. Thank you and have a good night. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.